in TV movie news on Netflix, I, they premiered the Death Note movie, and pretty much I believe it was just it's just okay. But you wouldn't believe that from the hate. Oh yeah, my goodness. It's hate it's, from it's, real. it's insane. Yeah. It is literally on the line of like you, it could have been anything you would have hated it. I guarantee it. Oh yeah. There's people out there who had legitimate concerns. I mean, I in 15 PCA watched it. He has legitimate concerns about character ideas and plots and stories as opposed to the anime. Yeah. Instead of saying it's this happened and this happened and this happened, how come he's not the If your main gripe with the film is that it's not Japanese, you're automatically going to hate the film. You're not going to give it a chance. And there's a difference between an adaptation and, like, a full-blown remake. This is an adaptation. Oh, let's take this idea. What if it happens somewhere else? Yeah, in this well, case, Seattle. Yeah, in this case, Seattle. Then you go to it at that open mind and see, oh, okay. Well, it's just an okay movie. I mean, you watched it. What did you I, think? I thought, I thought it was okay. The thing I will say about it, I'll say the points that I, I didn't like, but like he said, it was like uh, Crimson said as an adaptation, how the fact the father was single, uh, Light, Light's father wasn't, you know... Married, his wife died, and it's part of the plot of this movie, uh, you know. So they talk about that, and you, and also another thing too is the fact that he's that he's not a popular kid, and the anime he's super popular. That's what gets into his god complex. That's why he falls into it. He's there. It's more like yes, the book did change him in the anime, uh, um, uh, Akira did. But the thing is, it also changed. It seemed like it did change him in the movie too. But it was. It was more of a more pronounced because it's just a movie. They didn't have time to. You didn't have twenty six episodes. episodes. The show, the show well, actually, it's like thirty something actually. But yeah, they 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 go so it's a little bit quicker in that regard. And another thing they do, I know these are minor points, but when you touch the Death Note in the anime, you can see Rukia, which is the demon, basically Shimigami, whatever we want to say it. But in this one, only the owner of the book can see the demon, even if they touch the book, which I think is stupid, but whatever. Those are just minor points. But those are legitimate reasons to say, oh, okay, I kind of like the anime version better in this regard. But if you're going to say because of whitewashing, or you're going to say because, oh, I didn't like the fact they didn't do exactly 100% like the anime, and this brings it down to the point where it's not watchable, no. It, it's it's fine. And uh, how were the special effects in it, too? Excellent. Excellent. Okay. And when the phone knocked out of the park, no one had, even the people that hate this said he did an excellent job. He sounds like... He's a creepy guy. Oh, God. He can pull it off. You know, like, you know, he's got that kind of, you know... Where it's like that, like, he's inquisitive, but it's scary at yeah. the same time, and it's almost playful, but it's yeah. you're, it's standoffish. He's like, what's this guy going to kill me? Yeah. He's a weirdo. Exactly. He has that tension of, like, he's helping me, but I know for a second that yeah. I lose That's that. That's the fuck. And I thought, yeah. and I thought a little thing that they did a little nod to the anime, which I wish more people would talk about, because it was kind of fun. Is that he says, Oh, I'll call myself Akira, I'll call myself out, so they'll think I'm from Japan. So they kind of throw off the scent they think he's in Japan. But his, 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 his arch rival, you know, basically is trying to sound the detective, L, knows, okay, he figures out that he's not from Japan. But I thought that That's was kind of fun. fun. That's a cute That was one. fun, but of course, no one mentions that because they don't want to mention it. It was a fun little nod, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. And, and this just keeps going. That things like this can't be successful. Ghost and Shell can't be successful because the fans won't let it be successful. Not nope. saying We're not saying these are pinnacle films or they're mm -hmm. Academy Award winning films. No, they're just good, okay. solid stories, but we poop on them as fans so much that the average viewer won't even give it a chance. Exactly. Yeah. And the thing is, too, another thing I will say, too, is that what I thought was also interesting is the fact that when you look at the book, the, the Death Note, you can make people actually do things up to a certain time, but this one seems to be even more powerful than the anime, which I thought was even better than the anime. See, so there's even things they changed that I liked that I wish people would give credit towards that they didn't give credit towards yeah. this movie. And like I said before, when we were talking about Mass Effect, we got really good comments. Give us some good comments of critiques of why you didn't like it. Yeah, Death Note. Uh, a simple, this movie is the suck. I can't, I can't talk about that. I can't because if yeah. you can't even give me a reason why you didn't like it or some good actual yeah. critiques of the cinematography and like actual ideas, yeah. I don't know what to say. I can't, we can't, we can't have a conversation. I try to have conversations yeah. with the people who hate on this movie and they never really respond to me because they don't have any ideas. Yeah, and even even the butler for, for, for um, L, he's Japanese. So, I mean, he comes from Japan. So, I mean, you're getting that nod or you're getting that connection, but it's not enough. It's just not enough for these fans. There's nothing that... It, because there are Death Note Japanese movies, and no one, no one watches they're them. Okay. They're okay. Yeah. They're nothing yeah. special. And I, I think I brought this up before. It's not super integral of where this story takes place. No. This isn't Ramoni Kenshin, where it's an ancient. It's a story about samurais. Okay, it has to take place in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. There's no other. It can't take place anywhere else. Unless you're going to do like a broad spaghetti western type of thing, but even that would be a little bit. Of a it's, yeah, it's a little. You stretch. could maybe I know Clint Eastwood did it a lot yeah. with his movies. Good, the bad, but the but, uh, but yeah. enough to. to to really change them where they really weren't the yeah, same movie. It's, yeah, it's not like uh, Trigun, where Trigun could be anywhere. 
Yeah. Because it's like so, you know, yeah. random. But that, I guarantee, be a great live action, but that would be thing, done now. I yeah. guarantee if there's a Trigun movie, everyone would be mad that all the characters aren't Japanese, even though they're not Japanese. Exactly. It's the same well, with the aliens, technically. <laughs> it, it's the same thing with Gundam. Even though Gundam does not take place in Japan, everyone wants this, them to This reminds Asian. me of the same people who hated Iron Fist because the character was an Asian, even though the character was white in the stupid yeah, comics. Yes. Well, he's a white uh, billionaire. I don't know what to tell you. That's what he was. They just assumed he was Asian. Yeah. How racist does that make you? Don't make me assume a guy who knows Kung Fu is Asian. Exactly. 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 It's kind of weird, huh? Yeah, think about it. <laughs> and another thing, too, it was interesting, the fact that that he let his girlfriend know right away that he had the death note, because in the anime, he didn't let anyone know they come to him to find out the death yeah. not the other way around. Oh. And they do worship him. They say it cures the God and all that. But one good thing I will say, this is my own personal take, the fact that early on in the in the movie he's killing off terrorists, that's what I would do. That's just my own personal yeah, thing. I don't want to get too political. Give, but yeah, give me the FBI top 50 list. Of the most and I'll just check them off as I go down the list because exactly. there's some horrible people on there. Yeah. Murderers and Rapists, terrible, horrible yeah, people. Yeah. Give it up to those people, not the lady who cut yeah. you off and lying at, you know, at the, the McDonald's. I know they didn't mention all the rules because obviously like I said it's a movie, but another thing about the anime I thought was interesting, and this is kind of a switch between the American, how they redubbed it as opposed to the subtitle. When you use the Death Note in the American one, you go to hell. You're just going to go to hell. And the, and the and it's ambiguous. Anime, it's ambiguous. Like you might, if you just kill bad people, you might not go to hell. So it's kind of interesting how they change those two things. So what, without giving out spoilers, do you, did it set up for another film? Or was yes, like, they did. They did. So that's uh, hopefully they 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 take yeah, note of the two. people who gave constructive criticism. And, and make another one. Yeah. I mean, he's sitting, he's sitting on his, with his feet up and he's eating candies and stuff. Okay, they, they got the little weird things they had in the anime. Um, so, I mean, I don't know where else you want at that it point. It was on Netflix, know, right? Yeah, it's Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's the rating on it so far on Netflix? I think it might be TVMA. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, like the star... Well, the, did they have star ratings I, I anymore? Think they, I, no, it's just up and down, I oh, thought. So, so, what's it at? Did you... I didn't even check. It's I probably check way it. down. I guarantee it's Yeah, I just wanted to know personally, but... Because um, I hope people watch it. I want I want that to be, like, a thing that's made for futures. Yeah. And, like I said this before, I like the idea of it being a gateway. Someone like my older sister, who maybe might watch it because her husband might be into it, and then sees that and thinks, maybe I might watch the anime. Just maybe get her into anime. But no, it's a boys only club where we kick the door and we can't have anyone no normal we have a weebles and a taku's then yeah we, thank you guys. Ruin, ruin the ruin the hobby yeah i can't i can't i just i'm sorry i just can't again if it was bad go ahead i'm part of the crowd i'm gonna hate it if it's a bad movie not because anyone this isn't dragon like ball that. no this yeah. isn't you know like you know necessarily it's an anime but the avatar yeah live well, action film bad. which is just an awful film this isn't yeah. at that level it's nowhere yeah. near those levels no, and, it's, and not. it's not so far removed like final fantasy oh yeah like the spirits within where it's just like uh what the hell was that it's its own story it doesn't really fit yeah yeah but um i did you guys like it did you hate it uh if you i'm pretty sure most people are gonna say they hated it but i would like to actually know actual reasons why you hated it that don't involve around everything being racist <laughs> then, yeah, then we can exactly we can actually right. have a conversation yeah, to talk it, about if it. it if it's plot or characters like actor wise and like stuff like that and that's you know let us know because from what i've seen the the actor who played um l l i thought he did an amazing job he had a great voice and a great presence i don't care that he was black that doesn't matter to me you think he played the character very well Exactly, and I would like... And he can only work with what the plot they give him. He can't, you know, but yeah. from when he's talking and his presence, I thought it was I thought it was great. He felt that weird eccentric genius type of guy. He felt, he felt Yeah, he's had, his, his gears are always spinning yeah, in his yeah. head. Cool, I like it. I hope they make another one. I really do, because it needs to move forward. We need to bring... The anime can be for everyone, not just a, our little club of, you know, where it's only ours and none of the normal people can't watch and appreciate our things. I, besides the movies, that's kind of... That used to be a trope in the comic book industry, mm-hmm. especially like in the comic book, especially shops, they didn't want outsiders in there and I just don't like that. Make it inviting. Why would you want to limit your why, audience? Why don't Stupid. we spread the love? Exactly. Because <laughs> there's a lot of great, amazing stories that are told in the, in the art form of animation and in an anime. So many wonderful stories. Yep. I mean, I don't know. It would be kind of hard to do live action, but Revolutionary Girl, Utena is oh, amazing. Utena. That'd be great. Tenchi Munyo, if you could pull it off, could be great. I know well, see, see the, but the thing is, there's a lot of anime movies out there that could work in live action. I mean, Wolf Children oh, yeah. could be live action. I showed Wolf Children to my mother, and she cried at the end. She was bawling tears at the um, end. It's a powerful film with a great impact, especially for mothers. If you're a mom and you watch Wolf Children and you don't cry, I don't know what to say. It, it's a I good mean, mom story. There's so many good stories. Like the one with the manga where the mom has a Down Syndrome child. Yeah, I think it's called My Story or something like yeah, that. Yeah. I'll look it that up. Would but be... that's a very down-to-earth story that can be told yeah. 
to anyone. Then it doesn't have to just be an anime and just a manga. No one else is allowed to see this, but our little community. Let's spread it out. These great I'm, stories need to be told. And another one to be told too, even though we, it, this this subject has been covered more times than anything of all time, even though that should be because it was a fun moment in history. Uh, Grave of the Fireflies. It happens yeah, during World yes. War II, but it's so tragic what happens in this movie. Mm-hmm. It's sad. It's but very sad, but it, it would be it's, perfect. These are good stories that that, that that need to be told. I don't know if there will. I think there might have even been a live action Grave of the Fireflies. Well, I, think, I don't remember. I, I'll look it up. I thought it was Barefoot again that was live action. I, I don't know. Time. Maybe it was that one. Yeah. But it's very. Those are powerful stories that can be told to everyone, and everybody deserves to hear these stories. Yeah. And it yeah, can be amazing. understood regardless of uh, who you are. Yeah, no matter where you're from. Yeah. And um, of course, and there's all those classic animes, like you said, like, you know, like Gundam. And then uh, Utena and all those classic ones that could be made later, but these stories need to be told, and they're not that hard to do. Yeah, now, yeah. after this, if Ghost in the Shell can't make it with the fans, if Death Note can't make it with the fans, then no way we're getting an Akira. Yeah, Akira. No. That, that story's so oh, yeah. crazy. I mean, you, you think Ghost in the Shell's slow, you haven't seen anything yet. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, when everyone thinks of Akira, they always think of the final scene. Yeah. There's a lot of slow in yeah. that movie, and it's Which great. Which I like it, because I like the, that sci-fi you know, cyberpunk future, what's Neo Tokyo feel to it, but yeah, I don't think this is, I don't think people realize what they're in for. And we're not going to get a cure. I just don't see it no, happening. And, unless happen. it's some uh, straight to the, or it's going to be like how they did the kite movie, which is some weird director DVD oh, thing, yeah. where it's like, you don't even know it came yeah, out. And you're like, what the like, heck, yeah. this exactly. came out? And one thing I say about kite, I'm just glad they, they didn't emphasize one particular point in that until the very end, and it wasn't that graphic. It's, <laughs> if you look up kite and you're under 18, don't watch it. It's very, very, very. adult movie yeah. story. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The, TV, the TV series is better, when it comes to being a... An but it's out- weird because it goes in outer space. Yeah, like, it's, what it's it gets different, but the, the original movie, even though I like the storylines, it's very sexual, and that's that's a tale for another time. Yeah, you don't yeah. need to really get into that, yeah. If you're on the fence and you haven't seen the Death Note movie and you still kind of like anime and all that, give it a chance. Really do. Mm-hmm. If you... if you um, And another question I have for you guys, can you think anime movies be live action? Should they be live action? Should they say, you don't forget it, let anime be anime, and never try to make a live action version of it? Because, you know, things like comic books and stuff like that, like they should just be comic books and not movies, right? And yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, right? Because we have right. such horrible comic book movies, and right? And look how well it looked at for, uh, for the movie industry right yeah. now. It's actually saved the movie it. industry. Yeah, it did. I'll tell you right now, that, that's the same point saying that TV shows can't be in, made into cartoons. It happens all the time. Yeah. And no. they're fine. They're probably fine. They might not be as good as the counterparts, but overall, they're fine experiences. Yeah. I think they did it with Happy Days. I think they yeah. did it with all <laughs> kinds of ones. Star Trek had anime. Star Trek. So, which is what wasn't... As bad as I thought it was going to be, it's pretty decent. I'm watching it through. That's the only Star Trek thing I haven't watched everything, the whole thing yet, but I'm going to go watching an episode every now and then, so I'm getting through it. It's been pretty good so far. I've been surprised. So, uh, sticking with uh, TV news. Hi, guys. Crimson Sin here. You just watched a clip from our weekly podcast show. Be sure to check out the full podcast available here on this channel. Also, if you like the content and you want to see more of it, be sure to hit the like button and also go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.